So the purpose of today, um, the female Rocket League team that we've got, I've never actually met each other before and I've never actually played together. So for us, because they're going to be going down to a LAN environment, you know, down in Birmingham, we want, it's always really important for them to meet each other, you know, get to know each other a bit better. We've also got one of our Rocket League coaches here today to actually give them a little bit of pointers and tips just to kind of maybe shed a, a, a different light on what they're doing and try and bring them together a little bit before they go and play next week. Well, for, I'm Scottish, so of course it's an honour to represent Scotland. And I got reached out to by Esports Scotland and I, at first I was like, okay, this is going to be cool. And I didn't actually set in until, I guess, a couple of days ago. And I was like, okay, this is actually happening. Like I'm going, we're competing, so it'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I was a bit like unsure at first, but then like as it went on gradually, I've gotten more excited over it. It's so such a privilege to be able to do it. I've always wanted to do it through, you know, when I was younger watching the Olympics and watching the Commonwealth Games, but I'd love to do that. But I was never quite good enough at physical sports to do it. And obviously I've found my passion through esports. Representing Scotland at the um, championships is uh, so surreal. Um, obviously I'm a full-time mum, I've already got uh, children. Um, this is, I've never done any esports things, I never even knew it existed until 2020. Um, so I think um, being asked, it's a, it's a big deal. With the women tournaments coming into play and like these types of opportunities as well, like I think eventually it'll get to the point where it's open to everyone and like there won't ever need to be a conversation where can there be more inclusivity in esports? So I think it'll get there. Yeah, I think it could inspire others, um, especially like older uh, females or even males uh, to get into this. I only see like people in their like 15s to like maybe 20s, like mid 20s doing stuff like this. You never really see many people in their 30s doing stuff like that, especially with, with children. We've got such a good atmosphere together. You know, we're all friends. We all enjoy each other's company. So I think, I think we'll perform pretty well. So you gotta be confident in yourself. You have to, you know, if you want to do well, you've got to work for it. You can't just magically be good and be successful and learn from the mistakes. And if you lose, it's fine. And if you win, it's great. So it's just all stepping stones. We've got a strong team. Um, obviously, we need a bit more training, um, but I think we'll, we'll manage it. Um, obviously, it's Scotland, so like Scotland can take the win. <laughs>